Yeah. Let me record first. Now, uh, for 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 assignment, yeah, uh, mini research and idea recreation or uh, uh, idea rekayasa ide. Yeah. You will guess uh, will do it from lab. Okay. So the grade for that assignment, uh, I will get it from from lab. Yeah. So this is from lab. Okay. Now let's find about the uh now so for cbr yeah for cbr cbr will be considered as a case method assignment yeah you guys write down what we discussed today so that you, you won't forget about it. Uh, you find two books yeah, that will discuss group five. Yeah. What are group five? Group five is uh, uh, the example of group five is uh, Hold a second. Uh, potassium, sodium. Yeah, so this is group five. Potassium, sodium. So you look a book, two books uh, related discussing about group five. Yeah, that will be the CBR. Now, the CGR also find two journal that discuss group five okay understand this understand the assignment okay yes. now uh when when we should collect this assignment i want to ask you guys because you you guys are the one who work on this assignment so you guys should know like how capable you are to work on it how many weeks you want to work on it like when do you want to when do you want to collect this assignment week four week five Hmm? I don't want to uh, decide it for you because you're the one who know how you manage your time. Yeah. Okay. How many class you guys are taking this semester? 10, 11, 10 class probably, right? Uh, 10 yes, class. Yes. Each class will have six assignments at least. Yeah, so 60 assignment total the whole semester. That won't be including the lab and everything, right? So that's why I want to ask you, when do you guys want to submit the CBR and the CGR for this class? So both, both are finding group five, yeah? First is a book that will explain about group five. Uh, second is journal. So two books, two journal. So when, when do you guys want to submit this? And both of these will be group work, kelompok. Yeah. 
So how many you guys? You guys are 14, 14 students, right? 12, ma'am. 12, okay, 12, 12 students, 12 student, right? Uh, one group, four students, so only three groups, yeah? Hmm. You guys decide which of your group. I don't decide it. You guys, you decide. But now, when do you go one? When do you want to submit this CBR and CGR? Uh, permission, ma'am. Huh? According to me, I think uh, in five five meeting, ma'am. Week five. Okay, so for 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 CBR week five, for CGR. I think the fourth semester, uh, the fourth meeting, ma'am. Oh, week four is CGR. Uh, week five is uh, week four is CGR. Week five is CBR. Yes, ma'am. I is think it correct. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now week five. Week five. It will be one, two, three, four. So what? Uh, what will be the date? A second, okay. One, two, three, four, five. So it will be ten, ten March. Yeah. And then you will be collecting it, submitting it to SIPDA. Okay. Now, CGR will be week four, then it will be March 3rd. Yeah. Both will be collecting unto the SIPDA. Okay. Now, each, each assignment, even though it is a group assignment, you guys need to list what are the contribution of each member? Yeah, so you you guys have four four uh four member each, right? Uh, each group have a four member for students. Then each student you should list what is the contribution of each student for both for all the assignment, all the group assignment. Okay, now. So for both of CBR and CGR, yeah, the, the content, yeah, the composition of the content should be uh, started with the identification. Yeah, identification of the book, uh, identification of the journal. So we have both like two, right? Two books, two journal. So both of the books and journal, you should tell what is the title who's the author when is uh, when 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 the, the the book is uh published yeah and then who is the publisher okay so all so both of the journal and the book you should you should write it down in your assignment okay and then after you write down the identification uh, you need to write down the introduction so meaning is you need to explain what is group five. But I don't want you to copy paste from the textbook or from the journal. You need to summarize it. Yeah, you need to summarize it. Okay, now after you wrote down the introduction, you need to write down what is the advantage of using the book. What is the positive things that you find in the book? Book one and book two. And then uh, after you find the positive things, then what will be the negative things? Yeah. What do you see that, that are not good from the books or the journal? Okay. Now, after that, write down your conclusion. Now, after you write down the conclusion, then you make the reference. And then reference, you use APA format. APA, APA, format APA, APA format. Okay, 
So both of the CBR and CGR, I wanted you guys to work on the uh, format the way I mention it. Okay. Now that will be the the CBR and CGR. Now for the project, yeah. I want you guys to wrote down PKM proposal. Okay, proposal PKM. Now, uh, the topic is uh, analysis of chloride and nitrate anion. Yeah, analysis. Okay, now since this is proposal, it will be difficult to work on it, right? So I you got it will be due week 16 i will decide it on it week 16 so week 16 will be So 26 May 2023. Okay. So all this is the is the assignment. And I, I mentioned that mini research and uh idea recreation. Uh I will I will take your grade from lab. Yeah, I will take the group uh the, the grade from lab. Okay, now. Any other question for this assignment? Ma'am, hmm. uh, I want to ask again for the project. The topic is analysis chloride and what, ma'am? And nitrate anion. Oh, okay. This one, nitrate anion, yeah? Uh, so so you, you, you will find, uh, you will try to find a product yeah, to our, our method that you can use to analyze chloride and nitrate anion. Okay, then you will wrote down uh, as a proposal, uh, PKM proposal. Yeah, uh, why I need to do like this? Uh, why I need to assign you guys a proposal PKM? Because uh, this is uh, this is a part of what uh, our university wants the lecture to 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 work on it yeah so that you guys will will have uh will have uh what do should i say will have a uh, bersemangat untuk mengerjakan PKM ya yeah? nah, supaya bersemangat okay now so any question any more question about the the assignment No, okay. So, uh, next week we will study about uh theory and best ba uh, basis the basis of uh qualitative analysis. Yeah. So we can we, we will learn about dry analysis, flame test, yeah, borax test, uh, post phosphate, yeah, uh, wet analysis. So all of this. We will work on it in a uh, second meeting. Now, the third meeting, we will work on group one and group two. Uh, group one and group two. So we will learn about silver, uh, lead, mercury, cup, copper, uh, 
And then Mercury, you can see here Mercury. Mercury have two plus cation, uh, but then also one plus cation because this is like uh, Hg2, 2 plus. Ya, kalau Hg2, 2 plus ini kan berarti dia plus satu ya. Nah, the other one is uh, Hg2 plus. Uh, so Mercury also have uh, uh, have in group one and group two. So what we're gonna learn uh, for third meeting is how we can identify group one and group two, and then uh, how to separate. So in this topic, there are so many uh, memorization that you need to you need to do. So my my uh, my suggestion is you guys need to learn immediately. Yeah. Don't wait until the night before midterm test you study. So you need to study from the beginning so that you won't be feel overwhelmed. Yeah. Okay? Because there are so many there are so many uh reaction that you need to understand. Yeah, um, I think analytical chemistry is a difficult subject. Why it's difficult? Because a lot of things that you need to understand. The topic is so much. Yeah, so don't don't wait until last minute when you uh, study. Especially now, we will be having our midterm in class, not through online. Yeah. Okay, now that will be uh, week three. Now, week four, we will work on group three. Now, group three here, you can see is nickel, chrome, cobalt, mangan, uh, iron, zinc, aluminum. Yeah, so you can see here, we will learn about what are the reaction, the identification reaction, and then... Uh, you can see here is chemical industry waste because this is all metal, right? And this is what we call heavy metal. Yeah. Now, uh, week five, week five, we will learn about group four and group five. And you can, you remember that for assignment, uh, we are focused on group five for CBR and CGR. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, week six, we will move to anion. Yeah. So from week three through week five, we will learn about cation. Yeah, cation. But week six here, you can see we are learning about anion. So we will learn about sulfate, uh, carbonate, phosphate, chromate, uh, thiosulfate, uh, uh, sulfate. Yeah, this is empat. Yeah, SO empat dua negatif. Ah, this is SO tiga dua negatif. So this is sulfate. Sulfate. Uh, this is sulfate. Yeah. Uh, see, so even the name. Uh, both are sulfur, but since it has different number of oxygen, the name is different. Yeah. So you, all of those things you need to study. Yeah. You guys are in fourth semester. Yeah, fourth semester. Uh, is this the first time you you learn about uh, analytical chemistry? Yeah, this is the first time, right? Oh, so, so since this is the first time, so you need to uh, learn it from, from the beginning. Okay. Now, week seven, we will learn about uh, another anion such as chloride and nitrate. Yeah. Uh, chloride and nitrate group. So you can see here, chloride group are include this thiocyanate, chloride, bromide, iodide, uh, sulfate. Yeah. Uh, nitrate groups is nitrate, uh, nit nitrate, um, perchlorate, and uh, I forgot the name of this. Yeah. 
later in 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 our uh, lecture uh, i will mention it okay uh, now week nine uh, we will start working on the mathematics part of the class because we will learn ppm ppb ph stoichiometric yeah uh, so all the confusing part we will start working on here the mathematics part and week 10 yeah uh, week 10 we will learn about graphimetry yeah graphimetry so you can see here like from week one uh, week two until week um, seven we will learn about qualitative uh, starting from week nine we will start working on the quantitative yeah quantitative so we learn about graphimetry and then we will learn about titration uh, there are so many different titration we have acid based titration and then uh, there are also a redox titration yeah week 13 and then we will learn also about sedimentation sediment formation titration and then the last topic is complex formation titration okay so you can see here this is not an easy course this is a difficult course yeah uh, not only there are so many memorization but also uh, there are so many uh uh calculation uh, concept calculation concept that you need to understand because you won't be able to calculate this uh, without you understand the concept okay now so one tips from me yeah buy a textbook yeah listening to me won't be enough uh, you need to buy a textbook uh, like I mentioned, you can buy a textbook uh, from Bu Anna Junior. Okay, uh, I don't know if Prof Manihar has also text textbook. So if Prof Manihar has has book about this class, uh, you can you can ask your your um, senior, yeah, or you can go to Titi Gantung to buy a used book, yeah. yeah. So don't don't rely. 100% from my lecture note. It won't be enough. Yeah. Okay. Now, any question until here? Any question? Ma'am, I want to ask. Hmm? Uh, so, for project text, uh, it is due by group or individual, ma'am? Group, group. Group. For, for, uh, for students. Yeah. Same. So, so you don't need to change group. Uh, you can use the same group from uh, CBR, CGR, and uh, PKM proposal. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Thank so, you, ma'am. So that you won't be confused. If you keep changing your group, uh, it will it will be a mess, right? So it better like stay in one group, and then like I mentioned, uh, don't forget to write down the contribution of each member. Yeah, that's one thing that you need to put in in each of your assignments so that I know. Or if if you know one of your member doesn't work, doesn't contribute, then don't put don't put his name her name in the assignment. Yeah, right. Like you don't want like uh, because for group assignment, like whatever the assignment you get is 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 the your grade, right? So you don't wanna put the people that are lazy to 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 your assignment don't do that okay just just scratch down uh, her name we don't have any boy here right all girl right so 12 of 12 of you are all girls so so her okay now uh any other question ma'am and will be collected uh into Sipda also, ma'am, for PKM yeah. project. Sipda. All assignment will be upload onto the Sipda. Okay. I, I haven't, I think Prof. Manihar already enrolled you guys, right? But today I'm going to 
start update the the RP the semester learning plan and then all the place to upload the assignment yeah uh, so that you can start like looking at the R uh, uh, semester learning plan like what are you want to uh, study this semester okay now like i mentioned go to titi gantung buy a used textbook yeah uh -huh. or or you can do it like this uh, you guys don't it doesn't have to be each student buy it you guys like uh collect money for your all class right and only buy one and then you can copy copy uh whichever uh assignment uh, whichever part that you will be needed yeah okay that, that that's one way to save money yeah like i know like your your tuition is also inexpensive right but you will need textbook it's for your own good yeah and i don't ask you to buy my textbook no no i ask you to buy use textbook yeah, whatever whoever the author is uh, as long as it will explain all the topic that we will be studying this semester yeah okay any any more question so until uh so uh, so so you guys have haven't contacted by the uh, by the assistant yet haven't not yet man. not yet yeah, okay uh so for this moment then to the, uh, our schedule will be a uh, friday 10:30 then if 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 there is a changes after midterm then we can change it okay if if you guys pro, uh, for example if one of your uh, lab already finished so for example kinetics and uh, kinetika dan kestimbangan uh, after midterm uh, the the lab is done so maybe we can move move the class to that schedule okay so that maybe friday you guys want to relax or friday you just want to like uh, uh, work on the assignment no more lecture we can do that after midterm okay yeah okay now so we we will be meeting online un until march 3rd yeah because march 3rd is week four right we will be meeting uh, online week one until week four so meaning uh march 10th we will be meeting offline. Yeah. So, uh, Yolanda, you need to find a classroom for that. Uh, so, you we will we will be meeting offline from 10, 17, uh, 24, and 31. Yeah. Until March 31. Yeah. Yeah. I think until until midterm, yeah, until midterm, we will be meeting offline. Then after that, we'll we will be meeting uh, online again. Okay, so it will be alternate between online and offline. Okay, so so Yolanda, you need to prepare uh, the class and then the uh, in focus during the uh, offline meeting. Okay, so during online it doesn't matter, right? Because we are learning through Zoom. Okay uh so it, it won't be a problem okay now any more question any more question okay why don't you introduce yourself each one of you did i introduce myself at the beginning you guys know my name right <laughs> Okay, I will introduce first my name. I forgot if I already introduced or not. My name is Alfreda Ginting. Yeah, uh, I'm a lecturer uh, from chemistry department. And then my field is uh, physical chemistry, actually. But uh, since uh, my master and my uh, undergraduate are uh, analytical chemistry, then uh, that's why I, I was given an uh, assignment to teach you guys. But my PhD uh, is in uh, physical chemistry. Okay. Uh, I've been teaching. This is the second time I'm teaching this class. Okay. The first time I'm teaching the class is uh, 2020. 
So uh, Rahma Safitri class, uh, Rahma Safitri and friends, uh, they they are the first time I'm teaching this class. Okay, so you guys are my second times. Okay, uh, so hopefully, yeah, this semester uh, we can uh, we can uh, cooperate together. Yeah, uh, I will give my best. Yeah, to teach you guys, but I also expect you guys to work hard on this class. Yeah. Uh, so ho <coughs> hopefully all of you will pass this class. Yeah. Uh, as long as you guys like uh, work hard, I think you you will pass this class. Okay. Now, why don't we start? Uh, why don't you start introduce your class? Starting from who? Who want to? Uh, want to introduce herself first. Yolanda, maybe, since you are the comting. Well, ma'am. Uh, hello, ma'am. My name is Yolanda Anastasia Tambunan. I'm comting from Chemistry Education Study Program 2021. Mm -hmm. I'm from Lubuk Pakam, and I live in Lubuk Pakam, ma'am. Oh, Lubuk Pakam. So you, you travel uh, from Lubuk Pakam every day? Yes, ma'am. Oh. How long it will take for you? It will take uh, 45 minutes, ma'am. 45 minutes, okay. So in the, it's it's not uh, too bad then, yeah? 45 minutes. Because I also live in Jalan Sunggal and it took also 45 minutes uh, to uh, to travel from Jalan Sunggal to uh, Unimed. Okay, so it doesn't matter, okay? Now, so you won't be uh, finding a uh, uh, kos-kosan near campus or you, you will stay in Lubuk Pakat still? I think it's not worth it, ma'am, because um, cost cost in Medan it's really expensive. Okay, okay, so it's cheaper. Uh, it, it doesn't matter like the 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 apa the transportation fee. Uh, it's not as expensive as the the room. The right? Yes. Ma okay. Good. Okay. Thank you, Yolanda. And the next, who want to introduce herself? <laughs> Who else? Huh? Oh. Me, ma'am. Uh, Nadia? Nadia, what? Nia, ma'am. Oh, Nia, Nia. Okay, please, Nia. Uh, well, ma'am, my name is Nia Lara Julia Ningsi, and I'm from Chemistry Education Study Program 2021. And I live in Medan, Marelan, and usually I go to from my house, ma'am. Okay, so you don't you don't uh, rent a room, yeah? So you yes, you directly from your house. Okay, okay. Next, Nadia, ma'am. Ma oh, Nadia, please, Nadia. Uh. Hello, ma'am. Uh -huh. uh, my name is Nadia Nurhaliza. Usually people call me Nadia. Uh -huh. I live in Tembung. I am from Kisaran, ma'am. Oh, you're from Kisaran, but you rent a room at Tembung, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Okay, thank yeah. you, Nadia. And then who else? Good, ma'am. And then, Rizky and Dini. Uh, who? Rizky and Dini, ma'am. Oh, Rizky. Okay, please, Rizky. Hello, ma'am, and my friends. My name is Rizky and Dini. Uh, usually, uh, people call me Dini. Mm -hmm. I am the secretary of uh, chemistry education to the program 2021. Mm -hmm. Um, I live in. Medan Helvetia atau uh, tepatnya in Bakfilhor Street number 28. Okay. Uh, I graduate from SMA Kartika 12 Medan. Okay. So it, it also took you around 45 minutes from your house then to campus. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it, it's not too bad then, right? Because Helvetia is... Uh, do you go usually from Tau Highway or uh, the usual road? Uh, what ma'am? Biasanya lewat tol atau bagaimana? Oh, usual, usual, uh, oh, ini ma'am. Regular Trend. road. Okay. Yeah, regular. Okay, risky. Okay, next. Who else? Me ma'am, Anissa. Huh? Ani... Anissa ma'am. Anissa. Okay, please Anissa. Hello ma'am. My name is Anissa Fitri. Usually people call me Nisa or Cha. Mm -hmm. uh, I live at Medan City, mm -hmm. uh, especially in 
Jalan Sisinga Mangaraja mm -hmm. and I'm graduate from SMA WR Supratman to Medan. Okay, WR Supratman. So you're from Medan then, yeah? So you yes, also sir. have rent a room. Okay, good. Uh, who else? Me, ma'am, Kurnia. Oh, okay, Kurnia. Okay, hi, ma'am. Uh, my name is Kurniawati Brubangun. Mm -hmm. uh, I live in Gangmurni, number 13, Medan. Mm -hmm. And I am from Brastagi. Mm -hmm. And I am graduated from SMA Negeri 1 Brastagi, ma'am. Okay, so you are Karonis then. Same with me. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Okay, so you so you ran a room then because your parents' room are in, uh, in Brastagi? Yeah, ma'am. Okay, okay, good. Uh, then you need to work harder since uh, it's more expensive, right? Uh, you need to rent a room. Uh, you need to pay tuition. You live far from your parents. So uh, you need to work harder than your friends, okay? Okay. okay. Uh, any other? Me, ma'am, Sally. <laughs> Okay, Sally, please, Sally. Okay, hello, ma'am. My name is Sally Aulia. My nickname is Sally. Uh, I live in Street Sulu number 26, Medan. Mm -hmm. But I'm from Stabat Langkat, ma'am. And I'm graduated. Yes, and mm -hmm. I'm graduated from SMA Swasta Persiapan Stabat. Stabat or Stabat? Stabat, ma'am. Stabat, ya, yeah, Stabat, oke. Okay. So, but you rent a room in uh, in Medan then. Oke, okay. oke, okay, good. Any other? Who else? Me, ma'am. Oke, okay, silakan, uh, Hoir Hoirul. Hello, ma'am, and good morning. My name is Hoirul Baria. Usually people call me Baria. Mm -hmm. I'm graduated, I'm graduated uh, from Sunira X School 1 Tanjung Balai. Mm -hmm. I'm from Tanjung Balai City, but in Medan. I live in Tombak Street. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so you ran a room there. Are you in Medan right now or are you still in Tanjung Balai? Here, I'm still in Medan, ma'am. Oh, you, you are already in Medan. Okay, good. Any Anyone else? Who else hasn't introduced themselves? Me, ma'am. Okay, Febi. Hello, ma'am. My name is Febi Kansa Kataren. Uh, my nickname is Febi. I live at Jalan Suka Maju Indah, Sunggal. Mm -hmm. I have graduated from uh, Brigjen Katamsa Senior High School, ma'am. Okay, you, you live close to me then. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, Febi. Uh, next. Me, ma'am. Okay, Silvi, Silvia. Silvia Grace. Good morning, ma'am. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. My name is Sylvia Gracia Labur Sembiring. I live in Tanjung Selamat Sunggal and I graduated from SMA Negeri 15 Medan, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. So, three. Three Karonis student, right? Uh, Kurnia, Febi, and Sylvia. Is it? Okay. Th this is the first class that I see many Karonis students. Okay, so kind of happy, okay? But it doesn't mean I will put a favor on you guys, okay? I am a fair lecturer, okay? Uh, what else? Who else? Catherine, maybe? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, hello, ma'am. I'm Catherine. You can call me Kate. And uh, honestly, I'm from Pekanbaru, Riau. And now I am live in Selamat Ketaran Street, ma'am. Okay, Selamat Ketaran, close to Unimed then. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you're the only one uh, outside from North Sumatra. Yes, ma'am. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, there are so many students are from Riau uh, in Unimed, right? Okay. Okay, since uh, everybody already introduced themselves, right? Me, ma'am. Yeah? Okay. So, uh, I think if there is no more question, we will end our class. Yeah, we will end our class. And then we will begin the real lecture. Uh, next week and then i will update sipda so that you will uh, start uh, con consider like uh, thinking about all the assignment that already give it to you okay okay see you uh, next week then okay bye